my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a simply but pretty way. In today's video, we're going to make a matching set. I make this set for my spring wood roll. It's a little tweak from two other DIY I have on my channel already. They are the purposely silky dress and purposely crop top from the men's shirt. That's why I didn't film the whole process when I make this matching set. But after I posted this on my Instagram and also voice in the intro of the other videos, a lot of you guys had requested for the tutorial. So I decided to recreate it. Hope you guys will like it and try it out. So let's get started. I use three and a half meter of chip from fabric in floral printing for this DIY. The first step is making the sleeve for the top. I cut a rectangle with 40 cm length, which is the length of the top you want, and 80 cm width, which is two times the width of the sleeve. The bigger width you get, the perfecter you will have for the sleeve. I fold the rectangle in half on the width line first, then at the end of the folding line, I mark at 13 cm on the width line and 6 cm on the length line. There will be the connected part between the sleeve and the main bodice of the top. After cutting, I measure the width of the elastic band to create a fabric hole for it at the top of the sleeve. Then I sew two underarm big lines together. At the end of the sleeve, I fold the end fabric inside two times and sew to finish it. From the end of the sleeve, I draw a line at 5cm inside to mark the position for the elastic band there. To make the fabric hole there, I cut a rectangle with 4cm width and 80cm length first. Then I use the iron to create a folding at two length lines to hide the end fabric inside. I fix the circle fabric to the position I drew before that then sewing at two sides to create a fabric hole. Remember to keep a small unsewed space at one side to put the elastic band inside later. Now, it's time to put the elastic band for the top of the sleeve, I cut 28cm elastic band which is 2 times the width from the shoulder to upper the breast plus 2cm. After the elastic band went through the fabric hole, sew at 2 ends to permanent it. For the end of the sleeve, I cut 24cm elastic band which is the width of the arm. After put the elastic band through the fabric hole, sew two ends of it together and close the hole to finish the sleeve. And here are my sleeves. To make the main borders of the top, I cut a rectangle with 24cm length which is the width between two breasts plus 4cm and 61cm width which is 1.5 times a half of the bust side. On the length line, I mark at 6cm. On the width line, I mark at 13cm. 
then connect two marks together to create a connected part with the sleeve. I draw a straight line at the middle of the rectangle. From the top of the straight line, I mark down 3 cm. Then I draw a curved line from this mark to connect to two marks on the width line. At the end of the straight line, I mark up at 4 cm. Then I draw a curved line to connect to two ends of the length line at two sides. You need four pieces like this to make the main badness of the top. At the top curve line, I'm making a loose seam foot. Then I create a puffy there later. Make sure the ending width is 24cm which is the inside width between two shoulder plus 2cm. After that, I connect this piece to the other piece together at two sides to finish the main panels of the top, making two pieces like this. Now, I'm connecting the sleeve to the main bodice of the top. Make sure the sleeve has to be in between two main bodice, then sew in. After that, I make the under stitching seam. At the back of the top, I will use the elastic band to make it fit my body. I measure the width of the elastic band foot to create a fabric hole for it. Remember, keep two sides of the seam open for two ends of the elastic band. I cut 24cm elastic band which is the inside which between two shoulders plus 2cm to go through the fabric hole. Then sew in two ends of the elastic band to two ends of the fabric hole to permanent it there.
I do quite similar to fit the end of the bag. However, the length of the elastic band is 35cm, which is a half of the underbust side. And the final width at the end of the back should be 1cm shorter than the elastic band. So the back will fit better to your body when wearing. At the end of the front, I'm making a loose seam foot. Then I create a puffy there later. The final width of the puffy will be 35cm, which is a half of my underbust side. I cut along the tango with 8cm width and around 150cm length to create a tie under the bust of the top. I connect the middle of the long fabric on the length line to the end of the front, then sewing. After that, I fold the other end of the lane line inside two times to hide on the end fabric inside, then sewing. To create a V-shape at the end of the front, I sew the middle of the tie inside a bit. Moving to the bottom part, I cut two rectangles with 50cm length, which is the length of the skirt you want, minus 30cm for the length of the ruffle later, and 100cm width, which is a half width of the skirt that you want. If you want the skirt puffier, make the width bigger. After that, I connect two rectangles together at one length line. I cut two other rectangles with 30cm length and 150cm width, which is one and a half times with the width of the top rectangles. Then I connect them together at one length line to have a long rectangle. At one width line, I fold the end fabric inside two times to finish it. Then I make a loose seam at the other width line to create the puffy there. The final width of the puffy will be 200cm, which is the same with the top rectangle I made before that. So, I can connect the ruffle to one width line of the top the tango to finish the ruffle hem of the skirt. At the top of the skirt, I make a loose seam there first, then I create a puffy there later. The final width of the top will be 66cm, which is my waist side plus 2cm. I cut a rectangle with 8cm width and 66cm length to make the waistband for the skirt. I connect the rectangle to the top of the skirt and make the first seam.
after that, I fold the fabric inside two times to hide on the end fabrics and make the second seam to finish the waistband. I use the invisible zipper to connect two ends of the waistband together. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is a very satisfying matching set. I hope you like it and try it out. See you next week.